So, you have no idea how to use the animation data from Kinect. Not a problem. Now, the raw data is not really accurate, and it's really, really rough. But that doesn't mean that it's not useful. You, as the rigger, can modify the rig to hide its weaknesses and complement its strengths. Now, I've done most of the hard work for you, so you can just download it for free in the description. But if you'd like to do it yourself, then I'll explain how. The first thing that I noticed when I got my hands on the Kinect skeleton was that the hand and feet rotation data was pretty much garbage. But the hand and feet position data was pretty good. So I disabled the X and Y rotation on the feet and put in a floor limit to make sure that the feet never go below zero. And that by itself fixed 90% of all my floor clipping problems. For the hands, I added a constraint that forces them to aim in the opposite direction of the elbows. But you will notice that right now they have been disabled. And that is because the true target is going to be your elbows rig. Because the connect elbow data is also garbage. You can kind of see it spazzing out of control here. But but uh, yeah, we don't want any of that. You'd probably waste more time cleaning it up than you would setting up your own. So we are just not gonna deal with it. The last fix I made was to the hip position. For some reason, the hip position is literally backwards. So I've put this bone in to counterbalance the horizontal position of the hips. And I've parented that to a rotation control, and I've parented that to a position control, which just makes it easy to adjust once you've appended the animation. And that's really it. If you make those adjustments, or you download mine, if you join me next video, I'll show you how to line it up with your character and and hook it up. Hope that helps. As always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.